Hey everybody. Yes, I have an orange filter on x-ray. Very strange combination, don't you think? Considering x-ray is orthochromatic. But I think I have a feeling it will work because I have, I've used yellow filters and they work okay. Because this film, being orthochromatic, green sensitive, it does kind of stretch into uh, the yellow just a smidgen so I'm wondering if I can get away with an orange mm. so I shot two sheets with the orange filter in place and two sheets with no filter just to compare camera setup is like this I'm using the Schneider G Claron 355 and exposures with the orange filter three seconds at f11 almost wide open and no filter was quarter second at about f11 and a half so i as you can see i have the camera tilted up slightly with the rear standard tilted forward so that it is vertical and the front standard tilted back so it is also vertical i made sure the lens is also vertical so we don't have any keystoning happening with the facade mainly. I'm shooting in landscape. My composition looks like this. So I focused on the tree and I want the building to go out of focus. So I used a wide-ish aperture, almost wide open. So here's hoping this filter works gives me interesting result. Now I'm going to pack up, go home, have coffee and breakfast because I'm starving. See you guys in dark room. Oh, I actually have something. Amazing. City readings and actually make an actual cyanotype with it. Here's the green filter negative. Wow, it looks a lot flatter as far as contrast goes. Doesn't look too bad. It's definitely a little bit flatter, but overall it looks pretty good. I have to check it with my densitometer. You know, it's not such a harebrained idea after all. This is pretty good. It's very close to acceptable. Shadows are a little bit thin, especially in this area here. But I can probably counter that by increasing the filter factor from 8 to maybe 16 or maybe even 32. More experimenting is in order.